Hey guys, what's up? We're back with the Batman Telltale series game. Uh, this will be part two of episode one. We're working our way towards the end of it. And then, you know, we'll decide if we, we want to keep the series going after episode one. But, uh, yeah, other than that, that's, that's all the intro required. So let's get to it. David. It's me. Oh, shit. Look at that. Episode... So this is just the beginning of episode one. The rest of that was just the intro to the game? That's awesome. She was really after him. Allegations that Bent may have actually been involved in the break in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most hmm. promising young politicians? And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has okay, resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmone was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Nearly fell off a building for this? Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police the back are computer. investigating multiple cases of riders oh, yeah. receiving abdominal wounds from a place next to one other pointed weapon, while the rest get into tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few died, while most have been admitted to Gotham Jessel in critical condition. Let's find out what was so important. Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I yeah. always find you here. That's it. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. No way. Rotate. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. But there's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... 
I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I'll be nice. Yeah. Thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again. I mean, yes, yeah, that's what he was implying. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Found her. Okay, not much, not much to her. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. Ha! You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself, and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out, Al. Trust me. Yes, yeah, settle down. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I mean, yeah, I'll be cool. You're I know right. you're just you're trying right. to... I know you're just you're trying to help, Alfred. It's all good. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. So I'm yeah. not partial to heights. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. Yeah. One more worry for the list. I don't think I needed to click. I think you could have just put the animation in that he just takes I the card from I him. I don't that. think I needed to do that. 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed, you two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do mm. you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it was the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Concern. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, I'll give him change. I'm rich. I can give him some change. Uh, thank you, sir. I sweat. Statue, but no Oz. Go look at a shopping cart. Now there's another one. That's some fascinating shit right there. Hey, beat it. Okay, well, I mean, don't let it get you down, Bruce. Maybe he's just having a bad day. More graffiti. Hmm. Well, it isn't what it used to be. More graffiti. Let's check it out. Okay, so Bruce seems to be emotionally damaged when he looks at graffiti. He's got some kind of history with graffiti that's making him sad. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Oh, yeah? Where'd he come from? Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Come here! I think that'll do! Damn, they don't give you a lot of time. Stay down! This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Shit! Now he already had a busted up face too. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. You've got a little uh Yeah. Oh, good good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Oh, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce. I used to run around this place with back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. Ah. <sighs> This city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? 
Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. And what's left in this flask? Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Bitch, I'll kill you. Good seeing you, Bruce, but... I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Right. Over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> We're here about Arkham Asylum. No, wait. <laughs> Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this Can man be here, at a press conference. I mean, we on. break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But inside, they're suffering. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, 
My parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. <clears throat> Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Tugging on them heartstrings. Playing the game. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I, mean, I think we're Arkham has it. only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? I can't I can't be texting at a press conference. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? Yeah. <laughs> I'll play a little bit of ball. Receive this evidence. The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? Mm. All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What I should kill all y'all. I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid yeah. we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I ain't gonna say shit to that. Hopefully we can do our job and be out of here ASAP. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. You need to be the guy doing your taxes. Nah, I'm not talking to you right now. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. 
That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Oh, you sons of bitches. You ain't gonna pick it up? Like, why do I have to do this? Like, just pick the shit up. to do this. Let's just not say anything. It's disgusting the way they blindsided you with that BS about your family. It's a joke. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. I'll do it. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record, right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. See, I just feel like you're Your trying to play me. Your is what matters, not wild speculation. No. Turn it off, Miss Vale. Oh, but Bruce... Until I know what's really going on, I am not speaking to the press again. You're gonna play me, bitch. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. All right, we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, shit is getting getting juicy, fool. Juicy. So we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up here, and I'll have uh, I'll have part three up within the next few days. So appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff really helps me out. And other than that, I'll see you next time. This is the end of this video. Right now, I'm going to click stop right now.